So when I was seventy years old, I decided now I must do it. Uh, and execute the order of my Guru Maharaj. And thus this movement was started in 1965 from New York. And I was not very much hopeful because uh, it is very difficult task uh, just opposite the European and Western culture. I came, when I first came, I had no money, so I got a free passage through some Indian steam navigation company. So I came by ship. So when I was on the ship at Boston port, Commonwealth port, I was thinking that I have come here, I do not know what is the purpose. Because how the people will accept this movement? They are differently uh, educated, and as soon as I will say, so my dear sir, you have to give up meat eating and illicit sex and no intoxication and gambling, they will say, please go home. <laughs> Because that was the experience. Uh, one of my god brother, he went to London and he had the opportunity to talk with one big man, Marquis of Jetland. Marquis of Jetland was formerly governor of Bengal. At that time, I was a student. He was Scotsman and I was student of the Scottish Church's college. So he came to see our college and he was standing in front of me in the second year class. So he was very nice, good gentleman. So he proposed to my godbrother whether you can make me a Brahman. So my godbrother proposed, yes, we can make anyone Brahmana, provided you follow this principle. No illicit sex, no intoxication, no meat-eating, no gambling. So that Lord Jetland immediately replied, impossible. <laughs> so I was thinking that I will propose something which is impossible. Anyway, let me try. 